Let's get into the news. News and notes from around the league. I had this like teeny impulse when that was playing to to sing at the end of that. Oh, what were you? But I sing? had to. W- I you know, news from the league or something. I, I don't know what it was going to be. News it was just from gonna, the league. Yeah, it was going to be like that. Uh-oh. That's why I didn't do it. All right, uh, <laughs> Mike McCarthy said that Eddie Lacy's carries and reduced. Uh, were reduced because he is beat up, and the Packers will ride a hot hand between Starks and Lacey. Uh oh. Uh, I'm not fully panicked on this because this uh, is kind of the the. They, he said that he before. Said this I will before. say that he has said that before. And the hot hand always turned out to be Eddie Lacey. Right. However, this year James Starks has legitimately outplayed Eddie Lacey. Uh, I I'm of the ilk that it is the ankle. And that Eddie, this bye week is is a great time for Eddie Lacy uh, to to heal up. Maybe he can, he can come back full strength and be the 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 wrecking ball that we love of Eddie Lacy. I had I had a different thought of why he wasn't out there. Oh, why is that? That they didn't want to put him out there in those gold pants too much. <laughs> yeah, those. I those feel didn't like those accentuate. Were beige, they were beige color yeah, they were. pants. And I love the throwback uniforms. Well, I like the uniforms, but man, the contours. It just it was looks very clear. So cellulite-y. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now. Yeah, it really does, man. Where okay, <laughs> real quick, where do you stand on the Steelers throwback uniforms? The Oh, come on. You're I mean, bumblebee? Bumblebees? Yeah. Well, of course you like them. Yeah, they're awesome. I, I exactly. Like them. I like them as well. When I they first saw them, awesome. I was like, these are ridiculous. And now that I've gotten used to it, oh, they're, they I are, love when the bubble benches, come They're out. classic. They look, those are those are great uniforms. Uh, they're fine. They're fine. All right. I Gary, don't, however, like the, the beige pant. Here's Packers. the thing. Whether he said this before about Lacey or not, you don't like hot hand no, approach you know. being associated with what you drafted to be your number one running back. I don't think anybody saw Lacey's performance thus far coming, and he is a bust thus far. So, are you selling? Uh, I am. I am buying Starks, and I'm and I'm willing to sell Lacey to somebody. Yeah. You want to buy? You want to make a trade? <laughs> um, what I mean is, I'm buying Starks <laughs> if I'm a Lacey owner. Oh, okay. All right. And then if not, I'm selling Lacey. Yes. Uh, Broncos coach Gary Kubiak said that Emmanuel Sanders escaped a significant injury with the AC joint sprain. He's got 14 days before. Uh, his next game, thanks to the bye. Mike Zimmer said that Stefan Diggs has taken, or at least left open the possibility that he's taken Charles Johnson's starting job. Johnson has been hurt. This is something we'll talk about at length in our waiver wire segment because we will be talking about Stefan Diggs. Jay Gruden said Deshaun Jackson is questionable for week seven. Uh, he acknowledged a setback in the recovery for DJ. Yeah, well, a guy's a burner. He's probably stretching yeah. it out and he feels it again and... Uh, Ty Montgomery is banged up but avoided a high ankle sprain. That's good. And also on Packers news, um, this is not good. Offensive coordinator Tom Clement said that Randall Cobb's shoulder injury has inhibited his ability to get open. Apparently the shoulder is crucial to getting open in <laughs> well, the NFL. Well, if, if when you're talking about things like press coverage, I would imagine it is. And well, not not only that, but you saw an Emmanuel that Sanders. That is an excellent point. No, you actually did see Emmanuel Sanders right after he got his you know same shoulder hurt this last game. He was not able to run as fast because literally, as silly as it sounds, like one of the arms is not pumping along with you. And you saw it when he was running; he was overthrown constantly. That last the, the last drive uh, after he injured that. So it, it it is it is a possibility, and they're going on bye week. It's a good thing. Plus, Devonte Adams being back, I think, will help Cobb. Cobb out. Yep. Mariota this morning news, news broke sprained MCL should miss several weeks. Yeah, they're they're saying he could be back this week. Uh, I think that's ridiculous. I don't I I don't see a reason you put your brand new franchise quarterback out there when you your team is not in it right now. But he's walking around, Mike. <laughs> don't don't you want him to Hasn't be Hasn't Big hit Ben has him? Big Ben been yeah. walking around for weeks? Yes. Cheering on the sideline. Uh Des Bryant uh he could play. I don't think he will, but he I could play he, this week. Yeah. Uh, the news is very wishy-washy on, on – they're not ruling him out. Let's put it that way. Jerry so, Jones is not ruling him well, out. Well, you know. And He's every, not ruling his team out either. Everything so. is great when you're Jerry Jones. And then uh, we'll talk about it later, but Christine Michaels getting first-team reps in practice this week, and so I'm going to be wrong about, <laughs> about – I might be wrong about him. We'll see. Uh, any big highlights from, from last night other than the Star Wars trailer? Uh, there was a football game. Sam Bradford looked like he had deer in the headlights, like we talked about. 
Zach Ertz could have had a much bigger game if he if Bradford had been on on point. He threw another end zone interception, which is just I mean one touchdown, three picks. ODB played, he scored early, and then and he avoided allegedly avoided setback, that's which is always good, a good thing. Yeah. He didn't do very much in the second half, but we we hear he's in he's a uh, he didn't re-injure his hamstring. Uh, I don't know if you saw the retweet that I put out. Uh, someone had dig. I don't know if they did it or how they how they caught it, but a, a vine of the 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 botched snap where the the center snapped uh-huh. it and Sam Bradford was clearly not ready. But it's just slow motion of Sam, I saw the eyes. Of Sam Bradford's I saw face. It. Yeah, I watched that on when I saw it live. <laughs> Man, but that's how he looks right now. He just doesn't look comfortable. There were plays that I thought communication was broken down between the sideline and on the field and they won the game i mean they won the game kind of going away but the defense played well really well that was my takeaway from the game was the philly defense the philly defense looks i mean they all year they've been pretty darn good they haven't given up very many points to the opposing offense really sam bradford likes to give up the most points uh for their i will say demarco was my start of the week wasn't he he was he had a a dandy game so played very good first hundred yard game as an eagle yeah